Welcome back to the Random Stuff Garage. Today, we have a very special figure, uh, at least for me, probably for others too, but uh, there, there's a deep connection here. Uh, what we have here is Action Force Warpath Eclipse, uh, which started off as a Joe Fest exclusive. I was unfortunately unable to attend um, Joe Fest, but uh, it did go up on the site shortly after, and that was when <laughs> that that was a pretty dramatic day uh, for those of you who who tried either successfully or not. Uh, that's uh, that's that's one for the books. <laughs> anyway, what what is my what is my connection to this figure? What is the draw here? Um, I I I feel a connection to this figure um, because Eclipse is Native American and I am also part Sioux. Um, so why Warpath Eclipse? What well, let's let's start off by defining. What is a warpath? Um, a warpath can be defined as uh, the route taken on the way to a known conflict. So the warpath was literally a way to war. Um, now let's let's tie this in a little bit here. Uh, this may blow some minds. I, I know it blew mine. I didn't know this until a few minutes ago. So the Sioux, uh, they were known for being great hunters and warriors. They were a very spiritual people. Um, there was a biography written um, of a Sioux chief by the name of White Bull. Uh, it, the book was published in 1984. And get this, the title? Warpath. So let's get into Warpath Eclipse as I knock over everything on my shelf. So, here's the file card. If you want to pause that and read it, now's your, your, uh, now's your chance. Um, even the artwork on this box is spectacular. Um, I love the use of the, uh, the very, very native style. And that's, man, I forget the name of the artist. I apologize, but man, that's, that's awesome. Um, there's a, uh, a Western artist by the name of Wighorst. Uh, there's actually a Wighorst museum very close to where I live. And he, he does some amazing paintings and I've, I've been wanting to, uh, pick up some of his work or at least not originals. I can't, I don't have that kind of loot, but. Um, this kind of reminds me of, it's not really his style, but, uh, if, if you Google some wake horse or maybe I'll throw a couple of examples up, uh, maybe, maybe right here or over here or somewhere, I'll throw up some, I'll put some, uh, examples of, anyway, very cool art, um, uh, bottom is the usual standard action force stuff here. I got some more art there, some tape that's. Kind of stuck on anyway oh it's a circle it just got kind of overlapped or whatever anyway um yeah so let's get into warpath eclipse here um it did come with a warning um for those of you that remember the little green pieces of paper from uh gosh was that series one maybe series two as well it says that the figure will move fine I wish I didn't crumple it up and throw it away because <laughs> I know how to action force. But it says uh, that the figure moves fine, but to swap the heads to warm it up in 30 seconds of hot water. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but San Diego has been uh, warm lately. <laughs> so I left this out in my garage for about two days, and uh, it should be plenty warm. I'm not worried about any uh, cold weather snappage going on here. Um, but anyway, yeah, opener of things made from things, did its job already, uh, rambling, oh, there it is, right there, just to make it official, it is Warpath Eclipse, made in China, of course, like everything is nowadays, 
irony is not lost on me. Okay. So let's get uh, Eclipse or uh, Diani. Here. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. There we go. Put that out to the side there. And it's got the, the new um, plastic ties, which I'm not a fan of. I would much rather they still had the um, that real nice film that was so satisfying to peel off. Valiverse, please bring back the film. I don't know if it was more expensive or what, but man, it was so satisfying to just peel that back. Man. Um, all right. Anyway. Let me, uh, hmm. Open up things made from things needs to be sharpened, but let me see if I can. Oh, man. It's very. There we go. Nerve wracking to use that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to sharpen this bad boy. Oh, maybe not. Well, I just pulled through. Works for me. Yeah. You can probably hear my air conditioner kicking on. It's midnight at uh, the Random Stuff Garage right now. And the air conditioner is still running. Oh, catch that one. Smooth as. No need to warm it up. Poses just fine right out of the box. Super smooth. No sticky, uh, no sticky, sticky. Got the drop down. Works fine. Kicks forward, out, drop down, just fine. Everything's cool. Butter. Elbows good to go, full range, and this this is this is something incredible. First of all, the detail on that. Good lord, that is, and it's not. It goes all the way into the seams, man. All the way in, like. In the elbows, even. Look at that. Man, when Valiverse does tattoos, I hope we see more, honestly. Um, <laughs> put more tattoos on these things, man. I can only imagine Trigger would have, like, some serious ink, right? Um, but, man, look at, look at that. She is on the warpath, right? I mean, it really looks like, I mean, hopefully you've seen Blade Runner. Remember when Pris airbrushed her face right before she fought Deckard in the, in the very end? Man, this evokes that very, but in a very, you know, not mimicking way. It evokes it. It doesn't really mimic it, but it evo evokes it. Very cool. Very, very cool. And then, so let me get out the accessories here. Let's put her right there. Standing up pretty good already. And let's start with this, yeah? Start with the coolest accessory. The coolest accessory in the tray. That yelling head, man. That's something, I mean, we are getting more. We're getting, we're getting more uh, alternate head sculpts. And that's something I think, oh, and there it is. That's the, the braid clip. Um, and the braid is also very, very unique. Um, but yeah, we're getting more, uh, we're getting alternate head sculpts. 
think there was a mosquito on my leg. Yeah, it's fun times out here. You know, we're about to get hit with a hurricane tomorrow. It hasn't happened in like 60 years or something crazy like that. Um, so that's that's fun. I already got I got sandbag out in my backyard. Fun times. Anyway, yeah, man, that's wow. Very cool. Now, and I just finished reading the um, the trade paperback for um, Action Force for all the comics. Um, issues one through eight. Uh, you can. I, I might still be available on the website. Highly recommend. Um, for me not being familiar. A weird dot right between her eyes. You guys see that? Is that on the other sculpts? I don't, I don't think so. That might be... Uh, no. It's not my lighting, is it? No, it's not. There's definitely a dot, right? See that? Oh, maybe I can fix that somehow. Definitely not my lighting. There's a dot right smack in the middle. Anyway, um... Uh, it's, this is not a super important head sculpt for me. It's, this one, I can, I can live without it. It's okay. I don't need to contact uh, support developers or anything. We're all good. Um, okay. Comes with a, you know, pretty standard uh, action force. I'm thinking that's, uh, let me know. Because... I think that's supposed to be a SIG P365. I could be wrong. I could be way wrong. But it looks an awful lot like a SIG. It's either, either a SIG or maybe, maybe a Walther of some sort. I don't know. Yeah, there's a... Was that the slide release? Right there above the trigger guard where it comes back up to the frame is that the slide release and i think that's the safety yeah that that might be a walther let me know i mean i can just look it up after this but yeah i don't i don't think a 365 has that rear safety and i see a hammer too and p365s are striker anyway hmm Sorry, I've had P365s on the brain lately. For reasons that I don't need to explain. We got the... Oh, man, look at the wraps on those fists. Yeah. Come on. You can do it. Do it right there. There you go. Look at those wraps. Are those that is that that's got to be unique tooling to this figure, right? Nobody else has wraps on their hands like that, do they? Oh, maybe the upcoming Gemini, which is another. I'm a Gemini, so I'm gonna have to get Gemini too. God dang, man! How do they know all this stuff about me? Are they, ugh, man. it's like seeing stuff come up in your Facebook page, in your Facebook feed that like you never talked about around your phone. How do they know that? Four mags. Four mags. She's only got storage for... Okay, so what, it's one in the... Hold on. That's a lot of tape. That's a lot of tape. Hold on. Let me just... Ugh. Oh, I'm not a fan of doing that. But sometimes you do what you gotta do. So... I've also heard this is a unique rifle with this angled grip. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. All right, so we got one in the rifle. Oh, man, I love that freaking... Uh, come on. Yeah, that's definitely new. Because I've never seen that muzzle on anything else. That's cool. So we got one mag in the rifle. She's got two mags already in her mag, I don't want to call those pouches, mag carriers? 
There's nothing on her other thigh for another mag spot. She's got she's got her pistol. Let's just drop that in now. Get her all geared up. Ooh, that's a nice snug fit. Not tight, but snug. You probably heard the click. That's nice. All right. And now, so we've got three more mags here. Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three, two in the carriers, and one in the rifle. That's six mags. God, it's like she's on the warpath or something. You need that much ammunition. So, what was I talking about? The TPB, right? The trades. I read the um, Eclipse issues, I guess. Um, oh, and then she has... Yeah, she's got a belt with... Oh, that's new too, man. Is that a... That's a, that's a first. A belt, separate belt for the female with the um, sheath on the back. That's cool. All right. Let's keep gearing up while I'm talking about this trade. So, in the trade, um, Eclipse gets kind of like a, a little one-shot there. And you kind of learn some history about Eclipse. I'm just going to cut this again, man. Learn a little bit of history, or at least a glimpse at some history. And, and it might offer a little bit as far as like what makes her tick why she might be on this warpath I think in a, in a future issue we're going to find something out about Eclipse and what is going to send her on the warpath now that's just pure speculation I could be wrong god it feels like I'm going to just snap that right off like my, just my luck I would just be pushing that in and snap Cool knife, though. I gotta try and find one of those. Apparently, they're pretty neat. Um, let's keep gearing up. So, I've got plans for this, or I don't know if I'm gonna use this. No, I'm gonna use something else. I've got some plans. So that's a neat fade job on the um, the blade there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but the blade it almost fades to black at the tip. Can you see that on camera? It's not as obvious on camera, but like this side, maybe it picks up better. No, it just reflects all the light. But it's an ever so gentle fade to black at the tip. That's kind of cool. Almost like it's worn out from just use. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. It's worn out from use. It's like Ron Swanson's mustache. It rubbed off from friction. Remember that one time? Anyway, I got and so I think, gosh, I have to keep cutting these. I don't want to break a peg off of a, a hand or something. All right, cool. So the tray is empty. All the accessories are out. Um, she came with the figure stand, but it's the standard. I want those... Get that. All right, deal with that later. How about those new figure... Uh, you guys seen the new figure stands that they showed off at um, PowerCon? New stands, man. They're interlocking, and they, they have like a kind of a terrain feature on them instead of the... Uh, what is that? Diamond plate? Uh, Action Force logo that we're used to now it's it's gonna be like kind of like terrain like actual like dirt ground or something you know in the interlock which is kind of cool reminds me of the old uh, Avengers octagon interlocking uh, um, figure stands that we used to get probably when Bobby was still working on the line anyway I speculate uh, let's see am I gonna snap the neck off of this thing live not live. I'm not. I'm not live. I haven't gone live yet. I haven't had the cojones. All right, let's pop this off. Yeah. No problem, man. See, you just got to keep it in a garage that's like a hundred degrees for a couple days. And you don't need to warm up your. I don't advise that anyone try that at home. 
I got lucky, I think. Yeah, see, there's a lot of texture on there, and that's to hold the head uh, in a pose. So it's not slippery, and it, it's gripping the uh, socket inside the head there. So I'm going to put the screaming head on there, just because why not? Yeah. Yeah. That's a badass right there. I would not want that coming at me, ever. Yikes. Uh, yeah, man. So that's that's all the accessories. Six mags. Um, she's got her own uh, wraps on her hands. I like I said. I think those are coming on Gemini as well. So that's cool. Um, oh, you know what though? I've seen a lot of people uh, taking pictures or you know posting their their Warpath Eclipse. Without the vest. I like the vest because you got mags. I mean, I guess if she's just going full savage mode, like, uh, she doesn't need ballistics anymore. She would just go straight to edged weapons, I think, and, uh, probably eat your heart. Okay, well, I didn't get that one all the way, but that's, that's fine. So, yeah, no, no damage. Pop right off for me. No damage at all. I am going to take this off. These, these kind of annoy me sometimes. It works for Eclipse. It's kind of her thing. God, look. It goes all the way up on her neck, dude. The ink goes all the way up. I just heard like a giggle outside my garage. That's weird, man. It's midnight. Are my neighbors laughing at me? I don't know. I don't care if they want. They can. They, I don't care, but it's just kind of creepy. You're giggling outside your garage at midnight. Uh, let's get that back on. For real this time. Get, yeah, maybe I did need to heat it up, huh? Uh. Alright, there it goes. It's, it's on. Alright, didn't break anything. Everything's good, we're good. All good. Alright. Yeah, so we got, she's got the wraps around her hands uh, she's got her own uh, very unique M4 wouldn't it be cool if that was chambered in like 308 or something you'd probably see bigger mags I'd imagine could do it you'd have to bore out the opening probably get away with just widening it towards the rear maybe wouldn't wouldn't have to um risk much structural uh integrity at that point you could probably take some i don't know if you can see if it's going to focus you probably take some right out of the back of the magwell right there you can see, take some right out of the back, and it would probably fit a wider mag if you wanted to go like a 308 M4. Or, you know, whatever your large, you know, something bigger than 5.56, five, if you want. I don't know, just, just speculating. I like to speculate, man. It's fun, right? Um, let's go with... Okay, she's got an edged weapon here pop see no breakage man we're good we're good sunny socal no worries go with an edged weapon hand this part does make me nervous there we go right in we're in there okay edge weapon like i said i've got another i've got an idea in mind for this uh Maybe I'll do an update. I don't know. I think that's too stoic of a pose for that face. Right? Hmm. I'm going to have to take some photos. Did you guys catch that mosquito in frame? It flew right over her head. They're in here, man. I'm going to get eaten alive. Yikes. All right. Yeah. But, uh... 
25 minutes, not too bad. Um, Warpath Eclipse, man, if, if you guys missed out, there is going to be a restock in September, if I remember. I don't know dates. Uh, it was just said September. So keep, keep a lookout. Go on the website. Sign up for the newsletter. Can't stress enough. Sign up on the newsletter on the website and you will get all the updates you will need. You won't get, you know, you won't have to bombard the Valiverse Facebook talking about when are we going to get restocks of blah, blah, blah. You can just get on the newsletter. It'll tell you everything. Um, anyway, yeah, man, this, this one I'm super stoked to have. I really, really wanted it and I got it. You can get it, man. Uh, just be patient and, and, and good things will come to you, all right? If I can get it, so can you, okay? No, I was one of the goons that was hammering that website all the way up until 5.30, but, uh, <laughs> hey, man, you know, I was there, I had the opportunity, I seized the moment, right? That's, uh, let's see, her feet are not quite going where I want them to. Hmm. Is it? Maybe that way. That's a little better. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, Warpath Eclipse. Super stoked. Um, Valiverse, you guys are killing it. And uh, I keep somehow figuring out some sort of like deep, like meaningful attachment to these these figures you guys are dropping lately. Between this and Gemini, man, it's that's it's spot on for me. Uh, there's another one that's spot on that I still need to do a review that I've had. Uh, geez, I think it was part of the SDS release. Yeah, so there's one more I need to do. Maybe I'll knock that out next. You know what? Let's, let's just make it a Valiverse night. Why not? Um, but yeah, Warpath Eclipse. I am super stoked. And uh, I think it's time to take some photos and, and see what uh, see what she do. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all later.